Hello, it's Scorpio. What is going on? I am super excited to get into your read because I'm looking at your oracle cards and damn, baby, it looks good. Hopefully the tarot don't let us down. Yuck. Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're new to my channel, bienvenidos. Where have you been? We've been waiting for you. All right, if you like tarot, you like oracle, you like to know what's going to happen this week, this month, this year, this is the place to be, all right? And if you like to have live settings, come hang out with me on Tuesdays, 6 p.m., 7 p.m., 6 p.m., 5.30, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time on Instagram at Arena Luciano, all right? All right, maybe I should color these brows in a little bit more because they're looking a little bit light. <laughs> All right, y'all know I ain't got no hair. Anyways, let's talk about it, be about it. If you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs, baby. All right, so the way these reads are going to go, we're going to go into a general oracle. We should have stopped right there because it looks damn hellified good, okay? It looks super juicy. Now, then we're going to go into a singles, a, a general a singles a couples and then all signs okay now let's talk about these energies on november 1st we starting off the month right scorpio season is giving that uppercut baby and happy birthday to you my baby's birthday is november 11th yes it is she's my 11 11 born at 111 baby she my lucky store all right my lucky is scorpio it's gonna be nine degrees scorpio nine is a finality this is a really huge new moon and we're using a new deck that i got at a botanica where is the deck of the cards it's called loteria remedios okay now, for, for those who have never played Loteria, where have you been, guys? Go get you a Latino friend and let's go have some Loteria fun, okay? It's like Mexican bingo, okay? And there's pictures and images, but when you we were little, we would pick the card that, like, had, like, La Sirena, always, like, the big Chichona lady. And there was, like, always certain ones that people would be like, I need the double bandalon, I need this, I need that. Everybody had their card. And in this, I recommend these cards. I should do a whole live on it. Um, I really enjoy them. Anyways, your new moon message is that of La, ben La Bandera the flag but on this card it is very much highlighted as white it is time to clean the slate and look at the bluebird I'm going to bring reference to it later it's time for you to clean the slate it's time to have a fresh start it's time to move forward all right now moving on with that energy on the second mercury enters into Sagittarius be prepared to hear some shenanigans you know Sagittarius always be saying what's on their mind and don't think about what's going on shut your mouth all right think before you speak. On the third, Mars enters into Leo. This is about being brave and taking action. And on the 11th, happy Veterans Day. All right, hey Dan, happy Veterans Day. But this is also Venus entering into Capricorn. We are now looking at relationships as does this relationship make sense to my life? Is this worth my time and my energy? Why am I doing more than what I should do? Is this equal opportunity? We are really looking at things and Capricorns are gonna be looking hella good, okay? Uh, on the 15th, Saturn goes direct. And and we also have that full moon in Taurus, 24 degrees. This is an energy of joy and happiness. And also, we wants to go shopping. Okay, we wants to go shopping. You know, Venus likes Venus. You know, Taurus likes to shop. Okay, rule by Venus. We're going to look good. We want to shop. And we only want the high class stuff. All right. But your energy is coming in as el pájaro. This is very interesting to me because there is a bird on this card and a bird on here. So I have a saying for me and my kids, when we see the blue bird, that is my grandfather. When we see the red bird, it is my grandmother, and they're bringing different messages to us, the masculine and the feminine. So what I'm kind of feeling is your dreams are going to be very empowered this month. There's also like a lot of messages coming in about where you need to take root, where you need to land. There's going to be a lot of information coming to you this month when it comes to love. And I want you to pay attention to your voice, what it is that you want, need, and desire. And if you see the tree in the background, an arbol, this is about you putting roots down, feeling stable. Also pay attention to your health and your root chakra this month. All right. On the 19th, Pluto enters into Aquarius. Guys, just be prepared, okay? Like the shenanigans that Pluto and Saturn have been doing is for a purpose. It is for a reason. Do not get stuck in the dooms and gloom, okay? Believe in higher power and keep your vibration high, okay? It's hard. It's not easy, but we're going to try. All right? Now, on the 21st, grab a Sag and tell them happy birthday, baby, because it's Sag season. I love me some Sages. Anyways, on the 25th, Mercury will go retrograde in the sign of what? Sagittarius. So be prepared because people are going to be talking crazy. All right? Super crazy. So we have this energy coming in for you so far. Your overall message this month when it comes to love is going to be that of the shield maiden. 
She got her, she got her sword is ready. She's ready to take you down, but she's protecting herself, okay? It says make plans and focus. I do want to say that on not even on a love level, but the messages that you're receiving from the divine with the birds, because those are like messages from the divine, okay? Those messages that you're receiving, and you're gonna see a lot of birds this month. You're also gonna hear them when you wake up. You're gonna hear a lot of messages, you're gonna get a lot of downloads, your dreams are gonna be lit. Write them down, take a picture, do what you gotta do, because you're gonna make plans and focus on the future, and you're not gonna share those plans with anybody okay we're gonna move forward in what silence okay now with that being said your next card is that of the 11th house the 11th house astrologically is wanting to come in and tell you baby look at your friend group because birds of a feather wet they flocks together and if one of them friends ain't what you really want to be like it's not what you're going for cut them off okay break free tweet 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 a little lee okay now this is what i've been waiting for this is just an amazing combination of love cards. So you do have a very divine partner coming in, a big love coming in, or fortified love coming in, or staying in. All right, the king and the queen of roses. What the hell? What the hell in the read? Let's go. Because somebody wants to get married. Somebody wants to have a baby. Somebody wants to commit. This is a beautiful situation and roses resemble the love and the joy that is coming your way. This is a very beautiful energy. Congratulations. Also, I have to say this in every video. I don't know who sent me this deck called The Vessel. I will be using them. I will be doing an unboxing also on Instagram. It's just been super, super busy. Amazing or cards they have helped so much in readings and given so much insight so whoever sent them to me thank you so much all right I don't know how you got your my address I don't even know if I ordered them I don't know I just be ordering everything all right let's see what is our general message for our beautiful 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 Scorpios I, could, I didn't even want to do cancer I usually go cancer Scorpio Pisces but I was like no <laughs> I'm going to do a Scorpio first, okay? Because I want to know. What is the general message for Scorps this month? What is their general message? Someone is dealing with a question of sexuality. Maybe it is like, do we move forward? Do I, am I questioning myself? Something of that nature. You're also having someone who is having maybe some financial issues or they just really bad with some money, okay? And there's some possible, what, a pregnancy going on. OMG, and who's got a confession? Baby, I'm pregnant, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, this is some really intense energies coming in. Let's get a little bit more insight coming in. This is a general, take the parts that fit. Okay, and this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Cross Watchers that want to know what's going on, baby. All right, there's a lot of love. There's a lot of passion with that sexuality card coming in. Um, we could have someone who's even questioning a friendship. Like, I didn't even know I was going to feel this way about this person, but they've got me hook, line, and sinker. All right, keep, keep, keep. okay. The person that we're falling in love with, we really need to talk about our finances with because there is something that we're kind of avoiding, all right? The pregnancy card wants you to focus on the new beginnings feeling free maybe it's um the end of being just you and me because now we got a baby too and actually the king and the queen of roses is symbolic of somebody having a baby confession is there is love on the way somebody wants to tell you how much they are truly in love with you we should just end the read right here damn it just end it girl end it okay so overall, in the past, we have an offer of love with the Page of Cups coming through. Then we have the Page of Wands. Two pages in a read is very significant of information and communication coming in. And it could just be like a love message, a DM, a mess. I don't know. You get something. And here comes the King of Pentacles. Now, the King of Roses and the Queen of Roses both had red on. And now the King of Pentacles has red on. The Blowing Kisses has red. The color red is very important. There was a red bird also in your read. So I'm going to say the color red is going to be good for you. Work on your root shot. Stay grounded and be ready to be plentiful. All right. Then we have the four of swords. So there's an offer. We're taking a break. We're thinking about it. And we might be holding back a little. So you could also be seeing the number 444 this month, okay, because of the 44 at the end. So overall energy, we're going to go for it. And this is the Fool 2.0. So in this deck, the Curious Creatures, you have the Fool and then you have the Fool 2.0. And the first Fool just goes for it. The second Fool is like, let me think about it a little bit, okay? Let me, I already went through the whole majors, all right? I already did all that do. I went through the towers and everything. But I want to try it again. <laughs> 
So there's a situation that someone might want to come back and try again. What do the two pages have for you? Let's see. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody wants to work something out with you. You're going to really think about it. I do think that there's a big offer coming in for you, and you're just not too sure about how you want to go. Let's even say it's a financial offer, right? If you have a financial offer coming through, you're going to really think this through. Look, it's something you've done before. I just talked about this. So you had this fool. Then you have the fool 2.0. Somebody was like, look, I messed up the first time around, but I really want to make this work. But you got your boundaries up, Scorpio. Can't nobody play with a Scorpio. Because a Scorpio is like an elephant. Y'all just don't ever forget, okay? Never. I'm raising one. Here's the third page of Pentacles right here. Now I have three pages in the read. There could be some health issues or somebody getting sick. So make sure that you're, you're taking your turmeric and, and, and taking care of yourself, okay? And don't carry this burden on your own. You could also be being asked to go on a trip with this individual. All right. So very beautiful energy coming in as a general. Take the parts that fit. Leave the rest for as someone else because we are going into what? We're going into them singles that are ready to damn dirty mingle. Okay. Them singles out there. I love me some Scorpio vibes. Okay. That is one thing about me. I do like Scorpio vibe. They're really, they're really sexy. Scorpios and Sagittarius, okay? Throw me a little Leo in there, too, because I love that little primal energy. All right, let's see here. What do we have for our sexy singles? What do we have for our sexy singles? So we have move on. We need someone isn't available. It's a waste of your time. And then we say, give it time. Make up your mind, okay? Um, and I kind of feel like once you move on and you give yourself time to grow and explore other options, that's when you're going to feel a little bit more grounded, okay? You might even be thinking about getting a pet soon, all right? You need more information about an individual who is saying that they, you know, maybe they're stringing you along or something and you're just not really feeling it. Maybe you're even entertaining an ex okay and it's just not for you so with the mirroring with the move on we have the mirroring we have inner wounds move on from the person who is mirroring those things to you um, give it time it's time to cut off something it's time to separate stop the pattern that's the hard part with the pets card we have grounding so this might be a lot of you really just getting back to you feeling like yourself again and reconnecting and abundance is coming your way do not share your financial situation with anybody you're dating okay I know that probably sounds rude but we don't need to talk about those things because you know why it's none of their business all right there was a song by Salt and Pepper back in the day. None of your business. And if I want to take a guy home with me tonight, none of your business. And if she want to be a freaking, sell it on the weekend. I'm, I'm, okay, maybe I'm old, showing my age. All right, let's see what we got for our beautiful singles. What do we have going on here? We have the Ten of Cups. So at the bottom of your read, at the foundation, we are wanting to focus on the fulfillment. We want something to fulfill us. We are protecting our world. We also are like, can I bring this person home for the freaking holidays? You know, I saw a meme the other day that said, I live in a family of bullies, so you better be pretty. Or like, you better be handsome. You know what you live in with, Scorpio, all right? And then we have the four of wands. So this is really telling me about your home life, okay? You're really like, look, can I can I start a home with this person? Is this person going to complete my home? Is this my king of roses or is this my king of hoses, okay? Because we, there's a big difference. Mm-hmm. Yes, there is, big baby. A ten of pentacles. You also have a work opportunity coming through for you, so pay attention to that, Okay. And overall, you are in your Queen of Cups era. You are receiving, you are ready to receive, and you're focused on marriage. You're focused on something. You're focused on getting that relationship that you want, need, and desire to the higher path, to the next level, okay? Now, I am using some cards that could be considered explicit, all right? So if you're not 18, you got to go, friend, okay? Okay, I'll hide as much as I can. It's really interesting the things that YouTube will um, censor and then other things that get really pushed through. And so I will do my best to censor, okay? So Ten of Cups is coming through. And with that Ten of Cups, we have the energy of justice. So we are really looking at, is this person marriage material? I think, Scorpio, you're looking at a situation with someone like, look, if you're not what I really want in life, I'm going to go ahead and keep it going, okay? The world wants you to know the Ace of Cups. So you're really protecting your world for love, for passion, for joy. And there is love coming in this month for you, okay? The Four of Wands with the Five of Wands. So I feel like, look, 
The one that we need to move on from is really looking at you living your best life. I had to cover them up because they're having like some shenanigans in the garden. Super fun and sexy, okay? Causes some conflict for this person that we're really trying to move on from, okay? And I kind of feel like you wanted them to see a little bit. Like you're like, I want you to see how happy I am. I want you to know that I'm with someone who treats me well. But the truth of the matter is they've been watching regardless, okay? And this individual that's watching... We'll, we'll get a little bit of a vibe on him, okay? Well, let's get a vibe on this individual. What is up with this individual? How does this individual that um, Scorpio is being spied on, how do they look? How do they look? We have the house. We have cancer energy. This person's a very solid person. They're very built like a brick house, like they would say. Very attractive. This individual is very attractive. And a double cancer with the snake. And sneaky. So very, they're very sneaky also. They're very attractive. They're someone who probably thought you wouldn't have moved on from them, right? They're also one of these people who's a very curvy individual or a very solidly built uh, man, okay? I am getting feminine energy clues on this individual um this person there's a lot about the world so maybe you guys used to travel together there's also this energy of this person just carries the weight of the world on their shoulders um money is very important to them all right and they were into either they were either into banking finances things of that nature and there's also this thing about um it dried out it just went dry okay for no reason just completely went dry this person's communication completely sucked okay completely sucked so we'll just look and see what does this person want to tell you and then we're going to move on from this joker and we're going to move on to the next potential all right, what's up with this joker? What do they want to say? I don't feel like they deserve you. So they've seen you with this individual, and I'm ready to take my mask off. Okay, swiper, no swiping. You done messed up, okay? And they still want to kiss you. This person doesn't have true emotions, like, deep, okay? They're, they are trying to bump into you. They want you to see them. They want you to notice them. If you live at a distance from this individual, they are freaking trying to post so that you will see who, what they're doing and what they've been up to. Ten of Pentacles, what do you have for us? We have the Three of Swords, so we are releasing a big heartbreak, okay? There was a triangle going on. We're releasing that. And the Eight of Wands, right? Eight of Bastons. We are releasing that. We're not even talking about it anymore. Even if family members bring it up or friends bring it up, we're just like, yeah, we're in a new situation now. All right? Chunking up the deuces. Queen of Cups, what do you have for us? The Chariot. We are moving on. We're enjoying our life. There is something about traveling, moving forward. We got the hangman. We got all the water signs up in your rig, baby. This is an emotional time. And this person, like, worships the ground you walk on, okay? And, yeah, that person from the past is very upset. A very strong Cancerian energy that's very specific, may not be for all. It's very jealous of how happy you are. The higher fit wants you to pay attention to healing with the star, so we have like some real healing going on for you this month. A lot of beautiful energy. We're releasing the third party. We're releasing this energy of someone who just kind of played us like a freaking fool. You know, they played themselves. But, you know, I, I got these new cat corns and I like to see what the what would the cats say? Meow, meow, meow. What would the cats tell Scorpio to tell this joker? You're capable of amazing things like moving on. All right. And I leave a little sparkle wherever I go. So, yeah, they're watching you because this one got glasses on. And you're going to give them a reason to smile <laughs> because you moved on. All right? You moved on. You're ready to go. You're ready to do this. So, overall, I want you to pay attention to the 2nd, the 7th, 13th, 16th, and 20th. I'm going to throw in the 8 in there. You could be seeing the number 444 from the previous reading. This energy is telling you you're really going to get grounded. There is a lot of healing, a lot of soul healing. So, I do think the next person that you meet is going to jump into a physical relationship with you very quickly Scorpio I think it's about you calling in your soulmate okay or soulmate as they say it's a very beautiful vibe very beautiful energy um keep me posted let me know how that goes we are not going to entertain the ex situation any longer and some of y'all are going to be getting a pet all right even if it's a bearded dragon I try to talk my kids into a bearded dragon and they said no 
So let's see who's coming in for you this month or like if you're single and you're looking. If you're single and you're looking, clap your hands. Okay. Let's see. How will they look? How will the new boo or the right boo look for you? We got strong thighs. Yes, we do. We got that new energy with the writer. It is someone new that wants to come in and they got a lot of information there. They're very young. They're very fit. Yeah. All right, Sagittarius energy. Then we have an we have like a zaddy vibe, okay? So maybe they're not younger, or if they are, they look very sexy, very like zaddy, European, like, ooh, they just look good, all right? Virgo energy. Then we have another Scorpio. This person has dark eyes, dark, like, like those, like, I don't know how to explain the eyes, like those cat eyes, kind of similar to that. They have a very angular jaw, okay? And then we have an Aquarius vibe going on over here. This person has, I used to call them BDB eyes or like a teddy bear eyes. A little acha nose is what we used to call it. It'd be a bird nose, like a beak. A little pointed nose, very interesting nose. But their voice, there's something about their voice that really gets to you, okay? So the writer could be um, attached to someone you meet online. There's a lot of information and communication coming in from this individual. Um, the flowers with the troll. Okay, so anyways, the lilies and the troll. This makes me think about lily pads. This also makes me think about maybe you guys really talking about things. You could meet this person in the springtime, but I'm really feeling like this individual is like kind of like a little more into you than you are into them. And that's a plus. All right, and then the grave wants you to know they love pictures, okay? There's this energy of pictures, a lot of pictures. 1981 could be very important, don't know why. But this person loves to see your pictures, okay? And the owls are saying, I want to keep you safe. So there's that 44 confirmation. So those are just some clues you might be looking for. A lot of online communication, someone who likes you more than you like them. And I always like, girl, can I have a picture? What you wearing? What you look like? I want to have some of that. Ow! All right, let's give you some some initials just for fun just for funsies and then we're gonna move on we got the L E and S so say a less all right I do want to give you just a little bit of an Oracle read I'm just gonna pull two oracles when it comes to love because I'm already talking too much we have be open to romance there is something about roses you could be ex accepting roses this month and you've been thinking about someone and that is a very um powerful card there is something about a soul contract and i do feel that you will be meeting a soulmate this month all right you're going to be seeing the numbers four 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 and three 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 ow all right i don't know what happened the whole camera fell <laughs> I don't know friends. I don't know. So let's see what we got going on here. What do we have going on for our beautiful Scorpios in relationships? There is something about pets still coming out. And then we have, it's a yes. Get the damn dirty pet, okay? And then we have, there are some challenges in the way, in the in the forefront. There's a lot about a decision about working on healing. And we've got to give that healing some time. So let's see what we got going on here for our beautiful couples. What is this with the pets? What do we have going on? Whoa, whoa, whoa. An engagement, possibly. All right, so we're committing to each other. We're going to get a baby together. We're going to buy our puppy dog or our kitten. Are you getting a bearded dragon? Y'all, I'm still trying to convince my kids, but we're getting a dog. Well, anyways, someone wants to take the relationship to the next level. Maybe getting a pet together, then we're going to move in together, then we're going to get married. Kind of vibe, okay? And yes, somebody is deeply hurt. There are some couples that are going through like a breakup, but luck is on your side, okay? And challenges with finances are coming through. All right, so I'm going to go to this new deck, the Vessel deck. This is very interesting. I want to look at the Heartbroken card. What is a an answer from the heart here? Change. Um, yes, there are some changes that need to be made. There's a cycle going on, if you see here. These are very intuitive cards, so I'm just going to tell you what I'm feeling. Um, there's a lot of, like, little spades or diamonds going on. These are the things that are, like, important to you, that are mattering to you. And all those arrows, as we're talking around the subject, but something really, we need to get to the point. Spirals also represent... What is it like anxiety? So someone is very heartbroken about something and some things need to change. We need to change the way we talk about things, all right? And we need to set some healthy boundaries here, okay? So there, there is that energy there and there is some challenges that are coming through from childhood, especially when it comes to finances that are starting to kind of resurface as we're moving into this more of a committed relationship. We're trying to change the situation. We're moving in a different direction. I really wanna use the cats today. Because, you know, 
I've been watching Max the Cat on, on a TikTok, and I just love cats. Anyways, can't have one, but I love them. So what is your person's story, the star? There's a lot of healing going on. There's a lot of hope, a lot of excitement, okay? And the Three of Cups, they want to celebrate. There could be a celebration about the relationship moving in the next, next phase, okay? How do they see you as death, as yourself, as Scorpio? They're very much into you. I think there is a little bit of some energies going on because, look, relationships are not perfect, we are meant to grow and develop with each other. And I think in this situation that you're going through, there's a lot going on, okay? Ooh, too many cards. What is their behavior like right now? The Seven of Cups. They're not sure how to move forward from the heartbreak, from even from a discussion you guys had, but they really are trying to heal from it. The Page of Pentacles is a situation that's coming between you guys. This could be a financial issue, but we're going to talk about it. Ace of Swords, but there is a tower moment. Something broke your partner's heart or your heart in this relationship. We don't know how we're going to move forward at the moment, and that's okay. It's okay not to know every single detail of our life, right? Remember the bird at the beginning. We had the red bird and the blue bird, and they were going to be bringing you messages and information. So sometimes when we're getting this information, we want to react. And it's not about being reactive. It is about listening to our intuition, and, and it said pay attention to the red flags. So everyone is in different situations of that, you know, situations going on so pay attention to what's going on because there is a tower moment and I'm not a sugar coater okay I do like sugar cookies but I'm not a sugar coater all right so the star wants you to know death so this is you you're like they expect for you to fix everything they expect for you to heal everything they're like Scorpio's got me Scorpio's gonna do it and look I'm gonna show you this tower it's a little bit of a different tower but the double tower coming through is this is a groundbreaking situation Earthquaking, groundbreaking, okay? Someone's getting in that land, okay? But there is a death to this tower that needs healing. What does the Three of Cups suggest? The Ten of Swords. There's a little bit of a betrayal. We feel, we kind of feel, or they feel like something was done behind their back, but they want to be your King of Cups. They're like, wait, I know what I want, okay? And I need to get my, my, Cojones together. I need to get it together. I don't know how. I don't know what. I just know I need to get it together. What do they see you as? The Seven of Pentacles. They want to grow old with you. They want to move to the next level. That 13th is going to be important, okay? And they see you as the magician. I'll tell you. They're like, how do you know? Like, you be like, okay, now, okay, now tell me the truth. And they're like, I am. <laughs> they're like, okay, go ahead and tell me the truth. And they don't understand how you just be knowing stuff. Like, how the hell does Scorpio know? But you just know. And you're like, let's do this. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna go to the next level? You wanna move to the next level? Meow. Okay. And then you're like, I choose to find humor and joy in every situation, even though you don't look like it at times because you're very serious. You're like, you wanna play? Well, we can. What is the Seven of Cups about? The Eight of Cups. I don't think you're down for their excuses anymore. You're not going to play with it anymore. And the Six of Wands, you're like, look, kiss my grits, okay? That's the old folks saying. I show my age so much. Kiss my grits, friend. You're not going to get up in these good graces with some shenanigans. So I see Scorpio putting their foot down this month, Page of Pentacles, with the Empress. Look at this. You, you, you want this? You want all of this? My friend, you got to put in the work, okay? You're not playing, and y'all are a divine pair, the emperor and the empress. This is about you going half on a baby, half on a cat, half on a dog. This is about moving to the next level. We've got to talk about how we're going to grow together with the eight of pentacles. How are we going to move forward from this tower? Look, we need to discuss this. This could be a financial issue. Doesn't always have to be cheating, guys. Maybe I should put some makeup on, guys. I look, kind of, I look like a sleep. I am so tired of makeup sometimes. I wear makeup, but then I'm like, ah, let me just take it off. <laughs> I'm going to put some eyeliner on later. So I look a little sleepy. The tower wants you to know we got to stop bringing up the past. Okay? We need to talk about this in a, in a form of setting boundaries 
and changing the communication cycle. Because if not, Scorpio, you're going to keep finding yourself unenthused about the situation. So what I see here for couples is there is definitely a tower situation. Not going to sugarcoat it. You've got the double, to double tower. 16th is going to be highly important. There is a lot of healing coming in. We are focused on it. They don't know how to move forward. You've got to lead the way. You are a divine pair. I need to write that down. Divine pair. However, communication is key. They want to be that person in your life, but they don't know how, okay? So you're like, you know what? You want to be that? Let's do it. <laughs> All right? And that is where you're going to take control of the situation. Let's get some guidance for you this month. That is a very powerful read. I know you're probably like, wow, that was quick. It's because I talk too much. I like talk way too much, guys. And people get really annoyed with me. And they send me messages and say, get to the point. And I'm like... My God, you want to have a reading for a month in five minutes. Okay, I pull you one card. Have a nice life. Bye. <laughs> Anyways, let's get you some guidance. But first, before we get the guidance, I want to see if there's anything hidden that Scorpio does not see coming. Give us clues. Anything they need to know about this month. So we have a commitment, a contract's coming forward. There's a lot of anxiety around it. It's about the stabilization. It could be about where you live, about moving in together. It is about a, a, a situation that is very stable. We're nervous about it. We have feminine energy coming through with a big, big heart. Okay? And then overall, it's finances. This is a month where we really need to look at our finances. We need to decide how we're going to move forward. Are we going to re-sign our lease? Are we going to move in together? What are we doing? The female energy is coming with a lot of heart heart and a lot of passion but there is a lot about finances coming through so I'm going to tell you like I tell my friends all the time it's great to love people but it takes more than love to make a relationship work unfortunately there are other aspects in a relationship that we have to focus on this is a month where you make some major decisions my friend and you sit down and you make sure this is what you want all right there's going to be some conversations this month about boundaries and about the way we communicate guidance for my sunshine and rainbows be in balance. Do not come at this situation with an with a attitude, okay? We are coming in being fair. We are focused on healing. And we're coming with confidence with our solar plexus. We're going to speak from our... Pay attention to your gut health this month. And yes... They need to bring the coins, okay? We need to meet, we need to at least meet in the middle. There, we need to take care of some things. There needs to be a, a conversation about finances this month and about how we're moving forward. All right, so that's what I have for you guys. I hope that it helps. If you want an extended reading, let me know. I can start a channel with extended readings where I talk all day, guys. Because <laughs> your girl likes to talk. Anyways, dates to pay attention to the 2nd, the 7th, the 8th, the 13th, the 16th, and the 20th. Pay attention to the number 333 and 444. This is a part of the read where we go into all signs, okay? Take the parts that fit and leave the parts for someone else. If, if you're like, not me, that's not me. Hey, baby, go listen to your rising. Go listen to your moon. How about better yet? Go listen to every read so you find what you like, baby. <laughs> okay? All right, let's cut this deck. We have the temperance with the Queen of Pentacles reversed. So there's a situation about having patience. Someone might be feeling manipulated through financial issues. Someone who's willing to do whatever it takes to keep you. And you're like, my love don't cost a thing. Okay, JLo2000, what's going on? Lies. Okay, because money is important. However, someone is trying to be a little sneaky with that. And so that's why it's going to be important for you to be very grounded going into this month. All right, what do we got going on here? We have a five. Let me give it a little bit more. There's a lot of changes coming in for you. I think it's ready. It doesn't, yeah, there we go. 14. All right. This is you. You are the four of wands. You're stable. You're committed. And you're loving it. All right. And Aries is praying to a spirit guide. The solution is the six of swords with the tower reversed. So we are healing from a situation that, who could have knocked us right off of our feet, but not in a good way, okay? But Aries is like, look, I really want this to work, and you really want it to work. It could be a move, okay? But Aries is being a little narcissistic, or they think that you are, and they're hoping that you can see things from their perspective. All right, here you are. You are tired of the past. You're ready to move forward. You're like, look, all I need from you is understanding. Okay, SWV, I'm having like all this music coming in my head. All right, and Taurus is heartbroken, all right? Solution, there is some, I think you are like all out of love. 
and you want a new beginning. You're not, you're not with these shenanigans. Lucky day for you is the 17th. Here you are, all cried out over you, and Gemini is ready to start over. They want to start over. So you're willing to give them another opportunity with the Queen of Cups and the High Priestess. Trust your intuition as you go forward with this individual because you've been crying a lot lately. The 16th could be important or the 7th. Here you are as a Knight of Wands grrr, with your magic stick. Okay, okay. I see you, Scorpio. Talk about you can't pass. Go. No. Uh-uh. And Cancer is all out of love. Solution is justice. We need to be fair. We need to look at everything. Okay. And somebody who prefers to be single. Somebody is like preferring to be single about this. Or there, someone is acting like they're single and they're not. All right. The second could be important. Here you are as the queen of swords. You will take no BS. Okay. And Leo said, well, I ain't going to give into this. All right. King of Pentacles is the solution with the Ace of Arrows. So somebody needs to come in with some stability and good communication. And there is a lot of like a lot of physical action, if you know what I mean, going on. Lucky day is the 16th. Here you are as the Ten of Wands reversed. You are tired of carrying this burden. You're like, wait a minute, I'm going back to my boundaries. And Virgo says, but I promise I'll change. I promise it'll be different. There is a lot of miscommunication with the Nine of Swords and fake promises with the Prince of Cups. What is their day? The 19th could be very important. Here you are as the Hangman reversed. You're like, I ain't buying this, okay? And Libra says, you can't come over. Okay. Solution is, you guys have said some really harsh things to each other. There's also some financial issues. And we haven't even made our decision on how we want to move forward with this Libra. The third could be important. Here you are at the Two of Pentacles. You are trying to find your balance, trying to move forward. And the other Scorpio sees a lot of red flags. Solution is, we need to bring what's done in the dark to the light. And we're going to do it with love. Okay, beautiful message. The second could be important. Here you are neglecting your emotions or feelings, and Sagittarius said, okay, I'm just going to hold back just a little bit. I'm going to show you what I got and what you ain't going to get, okay? So we're praying about it. We're making sure it's the right decision, but we don't see it working. This could also be a situation where you guys work together and you don't know how to move forward. And we are also, someone is making an ultimatum. Either we get married or we're not doing it anymore, okay? The six could be important. Here you are as Genesis. You want to rewrite the story. You want to start over. Capricorn is trying to heal. The situation is about communication. And we need to change. There has to be some major changes going on. There's a lot of sexual passion here too. The second could be important. You are tired of working on it. You feel like somebody is spying on you. Aquarius is tired of working on it and not dealing with you. And there is so much love there. We got to talk. Like y'all are giving up. But it's like we need to talk. Okay. The fifth could be important. You are tired of asking for guidance in this situation, and Pisces is being conniving with their finances. Uh, we need to take control of this situation, and we need to move slowly, proceed with caution. The 19th could be important. Why are you tired of praying? Because you've changed, you've evolved, and Pisces isn't letting you grow. All right, that's what I have for you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Let me know if we wanted to make more videos or should I make them even shorter. Take care. Bye.